Michael and I are in Palermo right now and we are actually walking in El Rosadal, which is a park. So the cool thing about this park is that it's not just El Parque Rosadal, but also it has like this giant loop where people can walk and run and you see people riding their bikes and like rollerblading, which is so cool to me. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but like over here, there's a giant lake, which just adds so much beauty. There's like so many cute ducks and geese. Like I can't believe we haven't been here yet. So if you're looking for like something to do on a Saturday, you just want to do like a picnic or something, I would recommend to come here. Just, I can't believe we haven't been here yet. It's so pretty. train today which is very cool ever since we moved we don't have as easy of access as using the subway as we once did so we're taking more buses and more above ground trains now which is just so cool I will say I used to be very much against the buses just because I preferred the soup day but now that Michael and I are taking more buses and now with the above ground train we're getting to places just so much more quickly than we ever did before. And I think too, we get to see so much more because we're above ground now compared to the soup day where you really can't see much. The one thing I would say though, is that with this above ground train, it does come less frequently, but if you plan your trip well, you'll be able to make it. So I'm about to leave to hang out with one of my friends. I actually met this friend when I first came here to Argentina for the very first time. I came with Michael in July of 2022. Michael only stayed for two weeks, but I stayed for two months because I had the summers off as a teacher. And I met this friend through a language learning app and he's from here. And we hung out a few times and we're still friends like a year and a half later, which is really special. I feel like friendships like that are kind of hard to find, but we're gonna go to Cadore and he's from Argentina and he has never heard of it or has been there before, which like just blows my mind. So I'm really excited to meet up with him and I'm really excited to eat Cadore because the Dulce de Leche ice cream that they have is just out of this world. It's so good. I will miss you, mama. Can't come, but I'll miss you. I get asked a lot is how did I learn Spanish and just being in here immersed just helps me learn so much more and I've been learning Spanish for a few years now I started learning it more intensely in college and then I decided to move here to Buenos Aires but even though I live here I still try to learn the language as much as I possibly can I mean I watch all of my shows in Spanish I listen to podcasts in Spanish I get out into the real world and speak Spanish and if you're looking to improve your Spanish or learn a language for the very first time I I recommend using Rosetta Stone to help you reach your goal and they also happen to be my partner on today's video. What I love most about Rosetta Stone is that you can take your learning on the go. For me, I'm always out, I'm always doing something, I'm on the bus, I'm catching the train and for me, if I can take any amount of time to use that to learn a language, like that's a plus for me. And for me, I'm a firm believer that someone really needs to be immersed in language to really absorb it and learn it and appreciate it and that's what I love most about Rosetta Stone too is that they set you up for immersion from the very beginning. It's not just about memorizing vocab words or grammar rules. They get you set up to be able to speak confidently. Zeta Stone is offering a big discount for a lifetime subscription. Normally the lifetime subscription is $3.99, but with this discount of over 60%, you only have to pay $149 for life. This is great because not only do you get lifetime access, you get access to more languages. So let's say for right now you want to learn Spanish, but in the future you want to learn French, you can easily still learn French with a lifetime subscription like that's amazing use the link in my description box down below for the discount to start your language learning journey with Rosetta Stone today So 
So we're coming back from the dog park now and we picked up some Medialunas and I think we're gonna make Medialunas jamoni queso for lunch. This was our first time at the dog park. Max did really good and he played for a really long time with another dog and it was a lot of fun. So I did go to the store this morning and I just needed a few things for like breakfast stuff. So I went to Dia and a few things that I got were this cereal. I don't like eating this cereal by itself, but I do love putting it in my yogurt in the morning. And I actually never get this brand. I usually get like the off-brand Dia cheaper version, but they didn't have that. So I went with the Spanish Frosted Flakes. This was 1,200 pesos, so about $1.20. And then they were running a deal on bananas. It was a kilo of bananas for 1800 pesos and this was a little bit over a kilo and I got six giant bananas. Like usually in Dia, the prices for fruit are so much more expensive than like fruterias, but my local fruteria was doing the same price of bananas as Dia was, so that was a steal for me. And then finally I got yogurt and one whole thing of this will give me two breakfasts and this was about a thousand-ish pesos so like a dollar. So all in all really good and I'm really hungry so I need to eat some breakfast. So the plan for today is that Michael and I are gonna go to Ipachango Mas and apparently Ipachango Mas used to be a Walmart and I can't believe Walmart used to exist in Argentina. So we're gonna go there and we're looking for a few house stuff. It's been on our list for a really long time to go to Ipra Jago Boss. So like, I'm actually really excited. I haven't been this excited to go to a store in a little bit. And I'm hoping that we get something because we still need a few things for the house. We need a mirror for the bathroom and a few other things. So if we get just one thing today, it'll be worth it. But even if not, like, I can't believe it, like we've really been wanting to go there for a pretty long time. So I'm excited that we're finally going today. The McDonald's sign outside of it. Literally look at this and tell me this isn't Walmart. This is so funny to me. And you know in every single Walmart there's like that one auto You have, this is literally what our Walmart was like. You have the fruit stand right yeah. here, the bread in the back, and then you just have like the home section right there. And then I'm dead. I'm literally getting homesick. <laughs> that is crazy. This is if like you're single. <laughs> and you just you just really want cake that bad, but you can't eat a full cake. This is literally gonna sound so American of me, but like when I walked in here, it literally smelled and felt like a Walmart. It has the exact layout, so I'm almost positive. Definitely, this used to be a Walmart, and they killed it with the design. I'd say generally speaking, it's more expensive than Bea for most things, but some deals that they have are really, really good. So I see the milk is cheaper, um, but in general, I'd say a little bit more expensive than Bea, uh, food price wise. really sell big wraps here and I wanted like a like a chicken wrap so badly so I got a chicken and cheddar wrap on further inspection that's messed up they better slap also at least cut it up a little bit you know what I mean? okay okay they did they did actually too much sauce mm -hmm. but the wrap itself is actually pretty good I got I got a chicken and cheese tostado it looks good it's good it's our first good Postas experience. If we're ever stranded on an island with only Mostaza, we know what to eat. This and that. So I go on like a 30 minute walk just about every morning. And I knew it was raining before I left my house this morning, but when I walked outside, I realized it was downpouring. So my 30 minute walk turned into like a 20 minute run. 
and I haven't ran in years. I used to run cross country and track in high school, but I have not ran in years. So I'm feeling it. I'm already feeling it. So I'm packing my bag right now and I'm about to head to Cafe Martinez, which is a cafe here in Buenos Aires. And I really just want to read. I am going to pack my iPad in case I stay there for longer than I intend to, but I'm really excited to just read. I've been hooked on this new book that I got. I've been reading on my Kindle and I'm so happy that I got a Kindle because the reading experience for me has just increased tenfold. Like I don't know how to express it. Like I feel so good reading on the Kindle and I used to love reading on paperback or hardcover. So I've been reading this book in Spanish. It's called Someone That You Know, the Spanish version of it. And I've just been hooked on it. So I'm really excited to bring it with me and read a little bit at the cafe. I'm also really hungry. So let's head out. And get some food and I'm hopefully gonna get a nice coffee because Cafe Martinez just started to do ice lattes and iced coffees so that's a plus for me. Today I'm trying a new cafe in Buenos Aires. I'm a digital nomad living here permanently and we are going to Cafe Martinez today. I got a tostado with jamón y queso with an iced vanilla latte. I really enjoyed it. I would give this a 10 out of 10. 